Hello everyone, welcome back to Electromagnetic Field Theory. In this chapter, first of all we have seen the Coulomb's law. The Coulomb's law has given us the force of interaction. It may be the force of attraction or repulsion when the two charges are separated by some distance in the space. We know that the charges may be of positive polarity or negative polarity. Hence, it was obvious to have the force of attraction or repulsion in between them. After having the force between them upon the magnitude of charge that is stress charge under consideration, we have derived electric field intensity term which gives us the strength of electric field, whether the electric field is a stronger one or the weaker one. That actually depends on the magnitude of charge. Now the charge may be of different configurations also. It may be a point charge, it may be a charge distribution over infinite line in uniform, it may be a uniform charge distribution over infinite surface, it may be the charge distribution over a ring having uniform configuration or a disc also. So depending on several charge configurations, we have the electric field intensity formula. But what exactly the electric field look like or the orientation of electric field is, that is not known to us. So let us cover that in streamlines and sketches of fields. Now we know that the electric field intensity because of a point charge is given by Q upon 4 pi epsilon 0 r square AR cap. The unit of measurement is volts per meter. If the charge configuration is a uniform infinite line charge, that time we write E bar is equal to rho L upon 2 pi epsilon 0 rho A rho cap volts per meter and if the electric field intensity is because of uniform infinite sheet of charge that time we write E bar is equal to rho S upon twice epsilon 0 A n cap volts per meter. Now, we have taken three types of formulae giving electric field intensity due to point charge, uniform infinite line charge and uniform infinite surface charge. Here electric field intensity depends on R. So R is the distance of separation between the source charge position and the field point where we are going to measure this electric field intensity. Here electric field intensity depends on rho. Rho we say it is the perpendicular drop onto the uniform infinite line charge from the position of field point. And here we have to just check on which side of the sheet of charge the field point we have considered. Now let us take the electric field is produced because of uniform infinite line charge. So if you try to sketch that particular electric field, we first of all take the cross section of the line. So cross section of the line will be a point. So we can draw this kind of diagram. So this is the point that is cross section of the uniform infinite line charge. And because of that, let us say differential charge, the surroundings will be having the electric field intensity. So these lines, some small lines, some uh, long lines shall be representing the electric field intensity. The lines may be in upward direction, downward direction, away from the uniform infinite line charge. The net effect is away from that particular line in all possible directions. Now, for getting the electric field intensity because of the line charge, we have the convenience of using cylindrical coordinates. In cylindrical coordinates, we have rho, pi and z. So, as we have taken the cross section, so z would not be affecting here. Now rho is the perpendicular distance of field point from the line charge. Now rho a uh, pi here. We don't find any symmetry of pi in this particular diagram. That is why how exactly the electric field because of the line charge is there that is not clear from this diagram. Hence the next attempt is to have such type of diagram. There are certain suggestions to have sketches of electric field also. Some suggestions may be when the electric field is stronger, draw the thick lines. 
when the electric field is stronger that time you draw the long lines but it creates a lot of confusion because yeah as we go near to the source charge that time the electric field is quite stronger and in that much of space drawing the thicker lines or drawing the longer lines creates confusion and difficulty in drawing the sketches hence the next attempt is this one so the next attempt to draw the sketches and the streamlines is this one where from this point the continuous lines are drawn and they have symmetry of phi also in this diagram we have the separation of 45 degrees for the adjacent streamlines if the field represents velocity of any gas or velocity of any liquid so that time the positive test charge placed at this point will be accelerating in the direction of the streamlines the streamlines earlier may have been termed as the flux lines or the direction lines are supposed to be the continuous lines representing the electric field now the stream lines are representing this electric field and the relation of magnitude of that electric field is inversely proportional to the spacing between the two if the electric field is stronger that time the spacing between the electric uh, stream lines is very very small the lines are closer to each other if the lines are not much closer to each other they have a long uh, spacing or separation between them then we can judge that the electric field is a weaker field now the limitation to draw the sketches is that we can have the sketches in two dimension mostly so this was the case we have taken the cross section of the uniform infinite line charge now the two dimension case of drawing sketches here we can say this is any arbitrary electric field represented by these lines we can draw several number of lines so we have to take the tangent at any point of this electric field so now this tangent will represent us this kind of let us say e bar is this one so we can have x and y component for example so this will be ex this will be ey so just representing the lines we can have the representation in terms of equations so simply we can have y is equal to cx so at any point if we put the coordinates into this equation we shall be obtaining the constant c value so this was the equation having representation in cartesian coordinate system this we have obtained by just taking the ratio ey upon ex okay and differentiating it in further we can have the equations of streamlines in cylindrical coordinate system and spherical coordinate system also this was the last topic from the chapter coulomb's law and electric field intensity i hope you have understood the electric field in much more details for watching the next videos please subscribe to ekida channel in the subsequent lecture we are solving two miscellaneous problem based on to the concept and we'll start the next chapter thank you